This is Gina, and you are at the Firefly Studio 67. Uh, welcome to all my new subscribers. I've had quite a few new um, people decide to join the channel. Thank you so much for that, and a uh, warm welcome to all of you who have been with me throughout the whole journey. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, just a little um, catch up on the <clears throat> hashtag 50... Hashtag 50 stack challenge, I believe is what it is. It's from Crafty Cat. Um, this is going through our guest checks and altering them. I <laughs> made it so far, and then because we were traveling, um, I've carried on creating, but um, I couldn't do actual process videos. So I am so sorry for that, guys. Uh, just time just got away. So I thought. Um, I actually owe a big thank you to Carol over at Oak House Journals. She posted late, uh, recently a catch-up on hers, and it, it actually is the inspiration behind me saying, okay, you know what, I need to do a video uh, just to let you guys know where I'm at with it. And so thank you, Carol. That was a big old push that I needed, and I appreciate it. So let me just take you guys out. While I'm going through this, I'm probably just going to kind of ramble a little bit about what's going on. Um, I'm back in Florida. I am at an RV park and, um, you know, visiting with family. Um, and so, yeah, I'm kind of uh, sitting put for, I've got a couple more weeks and then we'll, we'll start to kind of move again. Um, so let's get started on this and, um, and then I'll just kind of, you know, fill you in on what's happening. I mean, not a whole lot is happening, to be honest. But, okay, number one was the red prompt. And when I started, I think I picked up at like three and four. So I uh, had to then go back to the red. And this is, yeah, this is red. So I just did a, a, I took a napkin, decoupaged it on here, and just add a little phrase and a die cut, a couple of die cuts, actually, and some, um, music paper behind as well. So that's number one. And I've just been writing on the back so that I know for future reference. Number two is paint. Oh yeah, I just did some paint splatters on this. Um, very limited on supplies, guys, so I just tried to make do with what I had. And then I just took these images, I added some thread to it, and yeah, I actually really like how this came out. You've seen me do the process for number three, which is blue. Yes, it's hashtag 50 stack challenge. So this is number three. I did a process video for this, so check that out. All of these are going to go into a playlist. Um, and so you will be able to go back any of them that I've covered on the process, and you can find it there. This was number four, which was orange, and I really did wonder uh, if I could even do this one, and same with red. These are not colors that I normally work with, but oh, I love how this one came out. Um, the blue one and this one, I just, I, they're just, I'm really, really happy with how they came out. That's how it is sometimes, isn't it? Sometimes things work and sometimes they don't. But what I like about these kinds of challenges, it gives you the opportunity to go back and um, see how you've, the progress you've made. Same with my journaling. It's interesting to go back on the journals and see how I've progressed with the collaging. So that's, um, I would highly encourage you if you haven't participated, even if you don't want to show what you've made, um, I would definitely encourage you to participate in a challenge because um, the prompts will take you outside of your comfort zone and that is often where I think you end up growing um, artistically. So, Okay, so this is number five and this is fabric. So what I did here is um, I inked or stamped on some uh, fabric. And I like this one. I think this is a little bit bold. I don't know. It's okay. <laughs> I 
it's okay. Um, but as I said, that's how it is sometimes. Number six was a pocket. And so here is the little pocket. And I've just added a little tag there. Yeah, it's okay. Again, uh, some of these I'm not mad on, and then um, others I just love. Okay, number seven was lace, and here you can see I added some with another stamped image. Um, and just die cut and different things. Uh, and yes, this was actually, um, I used some of the product from Your Creative Studio on this tag as well as this one because this one was vellum number eight and this is a vellum piece and then I took one of the die cuts add a label some rickrack and then uh, yeah I like that okay this one uh, was number nine this was black and I was very concerned about this one too because I don't have much black but I dug around and actually one of the paper pads that I purchased um, at Hobby Lobby had this. And of course you know I love the bees. If you've been following me very much you know I'm a, I'm, I'm a bee lover. Uh, I haven't worked with the bees in quite some time so it was really nice to find these images and pull them out and make this and I love this tag. I love how that came out and I think that's down to the fact that I love bees. <laughs> this one was number 10 index card and um, yeah I couldn't uh, get very creative. All I did was just took a bit of the index card and added to it and then these were some images that I had from a Daphne's diary and actually I really love how this came out because it's so different to my typical style although I would say in my journaling I'm starting to do a lot more of this kind of um, collages and I enjoy it very much uh, for my own personal um, uh, journals so yeah, really like that one. Okay, and this is number 11. This is the prompt was packing paper, so you can see that's back here. And um, very simple, but again, I actually really like how this came up. Um, this was a die cut I picked up at the Hobby Lobby, um, some little packets. And I don't normally buy that sort of thing, but it was on sale and this was when I was trying to start building my stash up again and um, I just came across it and I thought actually I really like it. It's so simple but I like how it came out. Uh, this would be, you know, I suppose typical of my style with, with the threads the, and the, the butterfly. Um, the prompt on this was crimped paper. Uh, this is what I had. This is some of the corrugated uh, from a box that I've just kind of taken apart and I've been using um, and recycling, upcycling. So yeah, I'm very happy with how that came out and I was able to use one of those big, big... <laughs> I still laugh at these brads I picked up, guys, because they are huge. Look at that. And I mean, they just remind me of like an upholstery brad, but um, I gotta use them, so yeah, where I can, I just, I just stick them in where I can. Okay, number 13 was thread, and, um, definitely an autumn look to this one. I love the little squirrel he cut, cut out of a Daphne diary, and yeah, just, um, lots of layers on this, and lots of little little bits of ephemera and I think that's come out cute and I love the colors it's definitely autumn themed okay number 14 corrugated cardboard again um, you know I'm very limited but I've just used uh, some of the box again and um, I like this this came out very shabby chic um, so I'm happy with how that came out Number 15, the prompt was sticker, and so this this was the sticker here, and um, 
I just added some stamped fabric and a couple of little bits of ephemera. And yeah, very happy with that one. Uh, this one was, yeah, really different, I suppose, to what I would normally work with. And again, this is part of a collection of things I picked up at Hobby Lobby. And I thought, how am I ever going to use it? But I actually love it. The prompt for 16 was square. So I just took squares of um, scrapbook paper. And this being the focal point, I put heart and soul. And I just cut these little pieces from a Tim Holtz uh, sticker pad that I got. And uh, yeah, I really like it. I think it's, it's just very different. I'm not usually... Um, I suppose I don't normally work in the blacks, and um, that's quite a bold um, collage, but I like it. It's, it's, I think this is what it's all about, is just trying to do some different things. Number 17, the prompt napkin, and the napkin is on the very back. I just covered the guest check, and then I just added some stamped fabric and just all kinds of different things. Some ribbons and tie them off. Yeah. Number 18 is washi and what I did for this one is I just covered the guest check with various washi tapes that I had. So the whole back background is just layered up washi tape and then I just came back through with with things that I've got in my stash. I've got so much of the Tim Holtz um, die cuts and I'm just not using them so I'm going to try to use more of those types of things in these um, challenges just I don't know you buy things and then you think oh actually you know I don't tend to work that way I don't know why okay this is number 19 and it is pink is the prompt and if, I think that satisfies the pink <laughs> Um, I did want to show you guys, I intended to do a video on this and I never did. Um, you know I've been struggling, I want some embossing and I don't have room for uh, my big shots. So I've been on the lookout for a small embossing machine. And the one that I really want is the We Are Memory Keepers um, Evolution. I cannot get my hands on that machine. So I was actually at the Dollar Tree and they've got this rose pink tile. You know, the it's about a six by six tile that you can use for decorating. And when I saw the rose pink, I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta have it. Um, so I was actually gonna show you guys how you can use those in the crafting. Um, I It's very difficult to find that. I've been looking out for more, not that I need them, but um, so it, you know, do look through those kinds of things because that's actually it adds a lot to the tags, and I've been really, really happy um, to find another use for for some of these common items. This tag is, I think, one of my favorites. This is number 20, and the prompt is woman, and I love this. This image is from uh, Dreams, etc. I used to be uh, on the design team. Um, Sorry about that pinging, guys. Um, but, oh gosh, I love how this came out. I'm, I think I'm being drawn back to the shabby chic again. It's been a long time since I've done a journal. Um, but I'm I'm kind of thinking maybe I need to revisit. Um, the only thing is I'm not sure if I've even got stuff to do that. Okay, number 21, dictionary. I Again, I did not know I could even do this. I found some dictionary washi, and then these were in one of my, um, were kind of in my scrap bin, and this has got some dictionary, so I think I managed it. Um, these are, again, from the um, Dreams, etc., a different kit from her, and I really like how that came out, and again, I thought it was going to be one of those that I would really struggle to even be able to complete, but I did. Uh, again, 
another shabby chic. The prompt on this was book page. I did book page in the very back and then I came back and stenciled. And I'm really loving how this 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 tag came out. Really loving it. Oh, another one. I love this love this tag. 23. This was um paint splatters. And you can see I've just that was the only color paint I had. So I was I was just frantically digging through my stash. I was like, oh my gosh, I've only got paprika. What can I use? And I um found these colors um and then this was a stamped on fabric and I love this tag again it reminds me so much of um autumn but very happy with how that came out and number 24 is butterfly and uh yeah really really pleased with this one it wasn't what I originally set out to do but she was laying on the table and I was like you know what Again, I've got to start using these little, what are they, paper dolls from Tim Holtz. Um, I've got a lot of them, and it's just not something i found that I really struggle to use them. But I'm happy with how this came out, and here's the butterfly. I was going to use the butterfly behind her, but uh, in the end, I just decided to put it up here with some thread and some uh, old lace. So, yeah. There you go, guys. That's me caught up and up to um, 24. I will carry on with this. And then how I'm going to actually bind these, I haven't decided. Because I think it's going to end up being quite thick when it's all said and done doing 50 of them. I don't know. I'm going to have to get creative on how. I thought about maybe putting them back to back but then again I wouldn't know what the prompt was so I'm not sure about that but I'll figure out a way but yeah that's it guys so what's happening um, is I'm just kind of hanging out at the moment waiting on Paul to get back we're here for about four more weeks and then we're we're going to have to be moving on um, because the RV parks near us are all full. So we don't know where we're going to end up yet, but it's going to have to be in one of the southern states just to make it. we got to ride it out until we get through the winter. Um, so I'm a little bit unsure where we're headed. But tomorrow, um, I'm actually going camping with my daughter so I'm really excited about that we rarely get time um, just her and I to spend alone it's only going to be for one night but I'm very excited about it so I've got the tent I got all the gear together and uh, we're going to cook out I've got some steaks I'm going to grill I've got salad and and then I've got stuff to do um, a ham egg and cheese croissant sandwich for the following morning when we head back so yeah, we're just going to take off. I've got, uh, my son has decided he's going to stay here in the RV and keep Daisy. He's going to dog sit for the day. So I'm so grateful that um, he's he's happy to do that for me. And so yeah, that's going to be it. We're just going to go to, there's a little state park near us that's got a great hiking trail. So we're going to put the tent up and then we're going to do some hiking and then settle back in and grill steak. I'm get I've got firewood. We're gonna have a fire that night. Although I will say, <laughs> or it's probably gonna be too hot because the it's only getting down to like 63 at night. So we're gonna probably be sweating out there next to the fire. But I don't care. I'm having a fire. <laughs> so I'm really really excited about it. It'll be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, it's just I'm so grateful to have. Um, time to spend alone with her because it's just so rare that we get to do things like this so yeah so that's what's going on guys thank you guys so much for stopping by today I hope all of you are well I hope you're having wonderful weather where you're at and that you are just enjoying today let's just enjoy today and worry about whatever tomorrow take care love and miss you guys bye